Welcome to my patient's version video of paracetamol or acetaminophen. I also made a professional version uh, where I tell some more in-depth concept about paracetamol. If you're inter interested in that, please make sure to check my other videos. This one will be brief, to the point, especially helpful for persons who want to use uh, paracetamol themselves. So let's start with a little disclaimer. So this video is uh, purely made for informational purposes. It's not medical advice. If you want medical advice, uh, please contact your own physician. Names, brands and dosages may differ um, in different countries. So please always check your own prescription or contact your doctor. When you're not feeling well or experiencing side effects, make sure to contact your doctor as well. So that being said, let's start with the video. What are we talking about? In the USA, you would call it acetaminophen, with common brand name is Tylenol. In Europe, we call it paracetamol, which is exactly the same, but just with European name. The common brands are Panadol, Anadin, or Mandanol. And paracetamol is available in tablets, capsules, drinks or syrup, and injections. But almost never used as an injection. So when do you use it? Um, when you're having a fever, then you can use it to lower your fever. This is done when experiencing common cold or the flu, or when you are in pain. And it will help you experience less pain, uh, for example, during headaches, migraine attacks, muscle strains, uh, menstruational pain, toothaches, any form of pain, and paracetamol will help you. How much do you need to use of it? And I always say, always use the lowest possible dosage, which still is effective. So when you're experiencing pain or fever, for example, and you want to use uh, paracetamol orally, you can use tablets from 500 to 1000 milligrams at time, and you can use them every four to six hours. If you want to use a drink or a syrup, use 20 to 40 milliliters a time to a maximum of 125 milliliters a day. If you want to use it directly, you can also use 500 to 1000 milligrams a time every four to six hours. Please note if, if, it, if it's not necessary, if you're not feeling the pain anymore or your fever is low, if there is no fever anymore, it's not necessary to continue with paracetamol and you can stop at any time. If you're a child, um, orally you can use 10 to 15 milligrams per kilogram every six hours to a maximum of 500 milligrams a time and rectally 20 milligrams per kilogram every eight hours can be used. We go to the next bullet point, uh, which is how do you use it? It's best to do on an empty stomach, then it will work fastest. Uh, if not, if you have a full stomach, you can also use it, but it takes a little bit longer, usually 30 to 60 minutes. Um, wait at least four hours between dosages and you have the correct level and you don't use too much. How long do you need to use paracetamol till the complaints are over? If you have pain, take it. But if it takes more than five days um, and your symptoms get worse, it's maybe time to contact your doctor to see if not uh, something else is playing or you need other medication. And regarding safety, paracetamol is safe to use while driving, while using uh, minimal amounts of alcohol, and any type of food is allowed with paracetamol. If you want to combine it with other painkillers, though, please contact your physician if this is possible. Regarding the side effects, uh, paracetamol has very few side effects. They are rare and occur only in less than 1% of cases. I named some here, um, stomach ache, diarrhea, nausea, vomiting, itching, skin rash, headaches or dizziness. Um, there are some more, uh, but they are rare. If you think you're experiencing one of these, please contact your physician. And then our last point will be, can you use paracetamol when pregnant or when uh, giving breast milk, breastfeeding? 
Um, paracetamol passes through the placenta but is completely safe to use during uh, pregnancies. It's not harmful for your child or your pregnancy but we rec uh, recommend to minimize the dosage and the duration of use. For lactation it's the same principle. It passes, paracetamol passes through in the breast milk but it's safe to use and will not harm the child. But again minimize the dosage and the duration. This was uh, is my short overview for patients on the use of paracetamol and, or acetaminophen. Um, if you're inter interested in more of these videos, please make sure to sub subscribe. And if you want a more in-depth uh, version, I also have a professional edition with some bit more in-depth information. Make sure to check it out. Thank you for